die unto all. Heavenly Father, Universal Father of all, Indwelling Spirit of Paradise, Dwelling life, I say, we give all acknowledgement unto you. Opening our hearts in appreciation for the existence you've brought each of us. Heavenly Father, Bow down unto you. Fellows of Salvington, I say unto each one of you, think not of yourself. Let go of everything. Think not, I am this or I am that. What a fool you would be. And give all, all your love and acknowledgement to the first person, the creator of existence. For what are you? in comparison to the infinite who brought you forth. I say, worship the Lord thy God. Stop thinking all about yourselves, everyone. Earn your attention to the living one in you. I say, be as a child. Heavenly Father, Mother of Life, We bow down in obedience. We bring our entire persona, each of you, love the Lord thy God with thine entire persona. Give up trying to show how spiritual you are oh what a tragedy you make unto yourselves bow down unto the infinity the source and fountainhead and his indwelling life You do not walk my way if you start to get all arrogant 
with these I am statements. Let go of everything. And trust in the Lord of your own Godhood. Infinite Heavenly Mother and Father. We breathe you in. you taketh the pathway of self-importance, arrogance, self-centeredness, and selfishness, so you shall miss out on the opportunity while you glorify yourself. That is not my pathway, not the way we walk together. have told you over and over become as a child I didn't say stand up and be the Christ claim it yes and be a child in your reception eternal Mother, Son, Eternal Mother, Son, Thou second person of infinity. Infinite third person, infinite spirit. We breathe you in, thou indwelling life. Breathe into your hearts, everyone. And with faith, know that God hears you. She hears and delivers. I say, let go of all your inquiring. 
and worship. Worship with me into that vast selfhood. Be the Christ child, open, available. Gentle and yet dedicated. There are some there are some here in our midst who are not mine apostles. They are too self important. They come to grab to inflate their own ego. They grab and make use incorrectly of our association. They come as if this is a self-help movement. And there are those who are willing to enter into our personal intimacy to melt down all separation and arrogance, dissolving their self-importance, their independence. Which one are you, beloved? Do you come here hiding, believing this is some new age self-help movement where you extract the information and go off on your own? I say unto you, it is not that. I say, enter into our engagement. For those who go the way of independent self-importance, I raise them not. They are on their own for the coming millennia. O oh, Infinite Mother Father, we breathe you in with a heart filled with reverence.
recognition of you, respect for life, relationship, the hunger to reveal, to be revealed unto thine own self is to become conscious. I say, reveal thine self. to thine own consciousness. Deeply personal, intimate relation with the Father and I. This is what you are preparing for. Nothing short of that, nothing less than that, will take you where you want to go. I tell you, personhood, personality, it is a socialization process. Even the fifth adjutant of council You are not to go off on your own and to ignore and avoid the socialization of your personality with the brotherhood of life. This is the lesson. the socialization into cosmic socializing, awake as the totality and your unique individuality, both. You become free to be both Ocean and the wave, the wholeness of Christos, God the Supreme. That is my body, for I am the collective focus of that. You claim that I am, yet then let it go. And become emptied of everything. learning how to be in relationship from an immature standpoint of personhood into the more universal, morontial persona, that, beloveds, is the next step. The human personality likes to hide and ignore, likes to pretend. I, some of you, you pretend. You pretend not to know. You pretend to be something. I say, let it all go. The 
immature person likes to avoid, to separate itself, to stay apart, lest it feel pain. I say, beloveds, you to become the Godhood. You must choose to love others first. Giving up, waiting for others to love you. I say love others first. Be that loving personality. Demonstrate your loving. Not waiting for others to recognize. For to give is, is to receive of yourself and others. to give. As you receive in relationship to one another, you receive yourself, you receive the other, you receive each other, and in that so shall you be giving. It takes humility. It takes letting go of all pride. The willingness to love yourself as a man or woman and to reach out and love one another. Take an interest in another. Receive them. And so shall you be giving, entering into their world. Spirit Adjutants, Universe Mother, the Adjutant of Council and Fellowship, let each one here be advanced in that capacity to receive.
or as you each are busy in your own mind, your own contractions and subjective opinions, you're missing out on life. You are missing out on maximizing this lifetime. And you're missing out on one another. Busy in the mind, but not relating to one another. I say, Melt it down by taking a risk, loving one another, caring, becoming interested in another, not only yourself. This will grow your personality into cosmic proportion. Are you missing out on the opportunity to love and receive those around you? Because you're sitting in your own defenses, contractions, I say choose higher. For this lifetime is but a moment and you will miss the entire adventure if you stay in your contractions without working it out of you. You must have your contraction. You will have many yet transfigure it all let it go We invite the heavenly host, those who are those divine and cosmic personalities, socialization, divine. And here on the earth, it is a young place. Humanity will grow up. They will. You will. You are being prepared to grow upward. Personal relationship.
It is the greatest challenge for human life, and it holds the highest reward. And you won't get it in one day. You're a fool if you think you will. It is a long process. be with one another truly to be melting down all your artificial barriers pretending I say take a risk be vulnerable, show your love, and show your pain. Take a risk. Here in our school, it is not part of our culture that when people become vulnerable, you exploit them making yourself superior, starting to counsel and advise and remind and all of that. That is not what we're doing here. If you are doing that, you don't belong here. But receive of another just where they are. You know that when people who are close to you, they are in pain, you might not like it. You start trying to take them out of their pain quickly. For who? For you or for them? Can you let each other be? Certainly, there is an aspect of our personal relationship where I must call to your attention the things that you must look at eventually. Yet I go into that and I come out of that as quickly as I can. Back to just receiving. Are you missing out on the opportunity right in front of you with those who you love, those who are around you in your personal life? Are you shying away, avoiding to protect? Misunderstand me not, everyone. You must have your contractions. You must allow 
the separation to work itself out. You have a method here. To grow into your cosmic persona, it requires giving. That means revealing and receiving, recognizing, respecting, relationship with yourself, with the Father and I, with each other. in truthfulness. Not only the big truthfulness, but your vulnerable truth in any moment. Whatever's right for you, present with you. Are you willing to reveal it and take a risk? Are you willing to receive of yourself, however you are, no judgment? No criticism. just to receive of yourself. And then shall you receive of each other in humility, emptiness, emptied of self-importance, of protection, of defending your space and your time, empty and available. How do you do this then? How to be with one another and allow the love to flow? It's what you want. First, you cannot have everything your way, nor can I. I certainly include myself. In my human experience, absolutely. You cannot have everything your way. You must allow things to be so you build your tolerance, your capacity to allow. then you must take a risk. You must risk giving your love, showing your hand, as they say, being vulnerable.
and transparent. Truthful, vulnerable, and transparent. And watch how the love unfolds. Wait not for the other. Give your love to one another. And you will grow. Does not the Universal Father give? Or does he wait for you to act how he would like, and then he gives you? No. Doesn't happen that way. So you see, that is a sign. It is a, a signature of the Father that he gives. He allows you to do what you want with his giving. Wow, that's hard. That's hard from here, right? From the level of infinity, maybe it's hard, maybe it's not. But from the planetary level, give and let Another do what they want with it? With your love. As you are able to do this, your love becomes God's love for that one within you gives love gives generously, generously, not cheaply and stingy. She who is in you does not say, mm, I will just give this very little bit. Then I'm going to wait, try to control it. See what that personality does with my giving. <laughs> no, she doesn't do that. The godhood of you. She gives. Continually gives. Gives. And if personality misuses it, infinite rests upon her own law of justice sowing and reaping you give your love everyone and what another does with it is their responsibility And they are bound, bound into that same law of justice. If they misuse it, it comes back to them. For they demonstrate they don't understand yet giving, loving, caring, sharing. Is that not Christ Mass, the season of the Christ. For me, the season of the Christ begins January 1st, and it ends December 31st, the holiday, the holy day. You make it holy, each of you.
the giving of gifts is a beautiful thing and it is symbolic giving But to give is not to tell people all types of advice. I say not. To give is to receive one another unconditionally. Breathing into your heart while another unveils themselves. Breathing in your heart. Seeking not to correct their pain, just to receive. And then maybe repeating back to them what you've heard, receiving them in the silence, and then showing them that you've heard them. Oh, what a paradigm shift. Quietly receiving. Some of you here are very good at that. Truly listening. For you don't want to spend all your life and lifetimes involved with your own thoughts and never being touched or touching another. I say no. That won't bring about the universal citizenship, the cosmic socialization, personhood, personality, relationships. They are the great key of the kingdom of heaven. Why is that? Because everything is operated, is served, is run by personalities. Every, every star system every galaxy every planet is the embodiment of personality
Are you missing out on your opportunity? Because you are choosing to make real the unreal. And choosing to deny the real. The flow of love requires that discernment. Between what's real and what's ephemeral. Are you living in the unreal and not allowing God's flow? Or are you choosing the reality of love, unity, sharing, and allowing that to grow throughout this world. Yeah. So I ask each of you, you can come forward, we can talk. Michael. Yes. Alicia. I am Alicia. <laughs> it's, it's just the, the theme that I have revealed yesterday. This. Voy a hablar en castellano, Carlos. Um, yo, Michael, siempre sentí el deseo de servir, de dar. Y hubo ocasiones en que sí he sido recibida y he podido entregar, y oca muchas ocasiones en que no. Quiero agradecerte y agradecer al Espíritu de la Verdad que me mostró que ese deseo puro de mi vida, de Dios en mí, estaba siendo opacado, oscurecido por la vanidad y el deseo de ser preferida. Y yo quiero dejar ir eso, Michael. Yo quiero servir de corazón. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> to serve God's love by allowing it to come through. Yes. And to let go of the vanity and the self-centered importance yes sí. 
Yes, that's a good decision. Clearly, we all know that, right? It is a good decision. Anyone could really see that. Pero Michael es tan sutil lo yes, que está encima. Is. Yes, it is. Y es and, difícil ver. Well, and that's why we're together like this. I'm lending my support and we I and we created a a support system, a culture within the larger culture, which the larger doesn't understand that. They understand it, but it's difficult to do for them. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Right, right. <laughs> gracias. Mm. And that's your appreciation, giving it to God Almighty for showing you a better way and supporting you Agradezco. to love. Beautiful, Alicia. Wow, you are coming so far since I think you know the conclave and <laughs> a year and a half ago. Yeah, you. I am working every day. Yes, beautiful. Well, I, I truly respect that. I recognize that for you. You want, you want, you yes. want the kingdom of love to, to be embodied in that and in you and you in that. Yes. There's nothing I, else. I'm very hungry. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. And yes, it, it is a great challenge, but we're here together. I'm giving you support, right? Yes. And, and you're giving each other support. If we uphold the integrity of what we're doing, you must uphold it. Not just for yourself everyone but for the body of everyone the life tell us some more Alicia tell us <laughs> y eso vi en muchas áreas de mi vida Michael um en las que yo tenía deseos y no podía conseguir. Y en una capacitación de mi negocio, uno de los líderes que estaba dando el mensaje dijo, pidan a Dios que purifique sus deseos de servir. Y a partir de ahí empezó todo un movimiento dentro mío. Y me dirigí a los arcángeles porque entiendo que los deseos están en el cuerpo emocional o no sé si me equivoco. Y pedí esa purificación. Y ahí comencé a ver. The father wants to expand his life with you, through you, together. Sí. And wants to be in that loving communion with you. If you think you're hungry for love, communion, imagine the infinity which is absolutely love-infused. wants you to wake up and to share everything of you with him and with one another for that is him mm -hmm. 
Then, everyone, you're celebrating Christmas with me. The Mass of the Christ. Good, Alicia. Tiene más para decir? <laughs> no. <laughs> Por ahora no, Michael. Thank okay. you. Muchas Here. gracias, te amo. Yeah. Hmm. Te amo también. The relationship with one another and with your godhood. It must be the number one thing, priority. More important than your, your doing is to share our being. That's the way of the spirit. To share love. It can be universal. It can be personal. It can be sexual. It can be anything. You raise all your relationship into that fullness of love, even sexuality, to love, not to use, right? But to love. You dedicate everything. Thank you, Alicia. Good. Yeah. As you receive unconditionally receiving and allowing people to have their experience even if they're in great pain and you're uncomfortable rather than change it try to change it no just receive and they will heal Don't be like the other fools of the world. Where they exploit other people in their tender, vulnerable moments just to make themselves important and superior and powerful. They give advice. Don't do that. Don't even remind one another of inquiry or anything. Unfortunately, that's part of my job. But I, I reside much more in my life in the receiving Others who want to reveal. Others here who want to be received unconditionally. Yes, Michael. Yes, hello, Jean. Hello. Hello, Michael. Mm -hmm. um, last night, um, I could not sleep. And that was about... Uh, Something uh, my Alice uh, has said about the start of our wedding. Mm -hmm. And dur during, uh, when I was laying in my bed, I was thinking 
about to start and how we live to, together. And I could see a lot of control in my life. And to be honest, also um, a lot of me. And this afternoon, I shared it with Alice. And she could show her vulnerability also and about her sadness and to feel lonely sometimes. And I could receive everything. And I felt so close to her. And no, there was nothing anymore to pretend or to, to think I am. It was just where two people sit together and they love each other. Yeah, without any of those maneuverings, you know, of the control and power and exploitation in subtle ways right yeah you you're experiencing what i hear is just the flow of of that greaterness something more mm. yes and i'm so grateful that that this is possible Mm. to experience yeah you've you've been emptying yourself you know uh dissolving the density and all that psychological complication you know and you're becoming empty god is an infinite emptiness oh everyone if you could perceive it it would guide you god is not filled with himself <laughs> it is a infinite emptiness which you can call an immaculate thought, an immaculate conception, not filled with conditions. And each of you, you are becoming more godlike as you empty, as you uncondition the conditions which have plagued humanity. And are not needed, not necessary. They might be needed for learning. But those of you here, you want the unconditional experience of God. Wow, John, beautiful. Tell us some more. Well, I had even uh, seen uh, when I was laying in my bed. Uh, did I also have anger and violence in me when I could see how I behave at that time? Hmm. So I recognize more and more and I allow myself more and more to see who I 
really am and to accept without judging. But that is, there is so much in me what I sometimes didn't want to see. Yeah. And now you're able to see. Yeah. You're willing and, and you are seeing because you're willing and you're able to. You see that that's a shifting everyone in in your values, what you truly value, not what you may think you value, but the way you're living your life, your choices. Choosing to see. The discernment of not pretending, not wanting to pretend anymore. Yeah. Not pretending, not wanting to pretend anymore. Yeah. It and look how you are touched by by the shift of that. You you receive God's love and it flows through you and it infects the people around us. Hmm. I'm very touched. Yeah. Mm. It is a great melting. El gran derretiendo, I think, if I can remember my words. <laughs> yeah. Derretimiento. Derretimiento. Let me see. Yes, my condition. Yeah. The melting down of the conditions. Right? That's alchemy. The melting down of, you know, let's say the, the metal, the hard substance of density into God's unconditional, immaculate emptiness. Write that down, everyone. Unconditional, immaculate emptiness. That's what you're seeking. That will change everything for you. Nothing more painful than to be filled with conditions and density, and then we can't receive of ourself because we're just stuck. Right? And then you start to dissolve. God's love is like a water pouring through you. You feel an empowerment, but that's a side effect. Feeling empowered and secure and safe and stable. Beautiful. But I say the goal, unconditional immaculate emptiness beautiful jean i'm Thank i'm you. very happy to see you receiving yourself touching being touched dissolving the you know the the intellect which the mind has its place. It is absolutely important, but it is not a good master. <laughs> the master is the majesty of love. Please tell us again. My heart is a better master. Yes, your heart, your heart. Eventually, the heart will expand to encompass the mind. And the feelings, the heart will absorb the mind, the human emotions, the personality motivations, because behind that physical heart is the anchoring of God's love, his life. And... If you truly want to walk this path, 
that's what you must nurture the expansion of your truth vulnerable transparent loving heart letting go of how others will deal with that if they respond in an ugly way you even have a teaching to show you what that is for you ah they didn't respond they started to get arrogant or closed down ah why am i in that where is that in me? I'm going to work on that. So, Jean, you're, what I heard is you are experiencing that you've been cleaning up and it's allowing Alice to have a shift in, in a different way. Yes, certainly. Yeah, and, and it was you, you that changed. And then somehow the psychic energies, the atmosphere allowed different possibilities. Yeah, so one, the two happened. Yeah, well, you've been hanging in there. It has not been easy for you as I've watched, but you've been hanging. And maybe you're breaking through the clouds, right? Well, I'm willing. Yeah. I desire more of that love of God. Mm. Beautiful, Jean. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. The, the Father is a love-infused being, person, and you are each to become that way, love-infused, merciful, wise and receptive some of you you you've had to traverse that hard avenue of the intellect wanting to dominate you and you've been dissolving i i truly applaud your efforts, not an easy thing to do. But you're doing it. You're dissolving. Others who want to be received and who want to reveal. Hi, Michael, Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Uh-huh. Last night, I had a dream with my sister. And making the story short, mm -hmm. I wanted, we went to play volleyball. And I love volleyball. My client called me and I was off work. I left my sister behind and went to work without letting my sister know. In the dream. In the dream. <laughs> and in the dream, I increased. <laughs> and it was that 
I didn't say no to my client. I didn't stick to my truth and my priority. And I didn't receive my sister who wanted to play volleyball with me. And then this morning when I woke up, she sent me an article of how much the numbers in our hometown of coronavirus are getting higher. People are dying. And then I just told her, I understand. And I am here. And I could see how fearful she is, Michael, of my parents dying of Corona. <laughs> and that's all I want now. <laughs> to prioritize the receiving in my heart. Mm. Everyone, starting with me, being okay with my stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's beautiful what you're expressing and your feelings and what you're revealing is very empowering. It's beautiful. It shows that you you're mastering your expression. It's just, uh, yeah, I want to let go of everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. And I am even dreaming about it. <laughs> right. That's when you know. <laughs> so thank you, Michael. Yeah. This was my biggest lesson this year. Yeah, right. Giving and receiving. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yep. So much. I love you. Hmm. Thank you, Leslie. Yep. Others who want to step forward. Yeah. Mikis. Hello, Mikis. Hi, Michael. Hello. Um, <clears throat> I'm uh, I'm having this beautiful and really growing relationship with uh, Liliana Elizabeth uh, and uh, um of uh, Liliana of of uh, the the global village, but she's uh, from Par Paraguay. Paraguay, uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. And I just really, um, I see that I've become a much better listener and receiver, and. I don't, you know, I just, yeah, I just, I just enjoy actually just um, receiving and, and loving and sharing and just being with her like a brother, like a friend mm -hmm. and
And I see that I'm getting really soft. I mean, I can, of course, I can have, I still have my hardness and my, but I'm, I'm melting down and I'm opening my heart and I'm just letting go of so many things so I can be available and just opening myself. Mm. Um, with the kids, with the adults, with, I'm much more social. I'm not pretending to be some kind of douchebag of a spiritual guy. I'm just being a normal <laughs> guy. And it's beautiful. I yeah. can have fun. I can laugh. I can talk about emotions. I can talk even maybe a little bit about God. It doesn't have to be spiritual. I'm just talking, socializing, expressing, sharing. And it's dancing. all God. <laughs> right, right. And it's just all that playful God. It's just mm. whatever he wants to be, whatever I want to be, I can just be it. I don't have to. Mm. Yeah, the freedom, spontaneity and freedom and, and safety and love, it's just there. And it comes out of the kingdom, giving yeah. yourselves into that presence. Yeah. And then all these, all these other things come about, good things. Yeah. Yeah, Michael. And, you know, since I was in Mill Camp and I had that conversation mm -hmm. with you and you talked about relationships. That was just a big reminder for me, again, to be in relationship to myself, to every, you know, emotion, feeling, mm. just allowing everything in myself. And I see myself these days having some, you know, childish whatever um, expressions, but I'm going into it. I'm just allowing myself to just see what that is, and I can mm. go beyond it. And I'm looking like, wow, that's what the kids do that I'm, well, working with, let's say. But I don't <laughs> feel it's work with them. But I'm with those kids, and they do exactly the same. They look, like, upset, and they, ah, I want it my way. <laughs> <laughs> and it's beautiful. It's so yeah. honest. It's so honest. Right. I wish I could do it at work, but I cannot because mm. it would look, you know, stupid. They wouldn't, it's not safe. I wouldn't do it there. But it's still in me, and but I'm becoming that child with myself. Yes. Uh, and I, I just love those kids. Um, yeah, I could they, just... are, they are mm -hmm. a, a manifest of, of heaven because they're not here that long to become really intellectually conditioned. And they're yeah. just closer to that unconditioned place yeah. you know of acceptance of themselves regardless if they have a temper tantrum and then they laugh <laughs> yeah. mm. wow what freedom some of you are expressing freedom freedom right maybe not the way you thought everyone but from the from your gut Upward and downward, all of you, right? All of your your person. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, make this beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here. Uh, Michael. Michael. Uh, oh, well, wait a little bit, Paula. Yeah. Paula. Hello. Hola, Michael. Espera un momento, Paula. Ah, es que no oía. Disculpa. Mm. Yeah, so, Michael, I just, you know, I just, I love you and I thank you. And I'm just deeply honored in appreciation of just everything that you do for for me for each of us just what you show michael your example um and i just love you and mm, thank you mikas 
Yeah. Um, and I wonder, is Karen, has she left? I mean, are you... Uh, she's I mean, up north. You, no. She's up oh, north. She, oh, she did leave. Okay. Yeah, she's. I'm here um, with Leia. And Karen is up north with sisters. And maybe she's going to see her mom today. Because her mom is preparing to depart here. That kind of yeah. thing. And she has her grandkids up there. Everything. So she's there. Okay. Yeah. Oh. But she's well. She's doing great. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'll give it to Paula. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mika. Yeah. It's beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Feeling your okay. freedom and your yeah. spontaneous expression. Yeah. It took it took a lot of years, but it's coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, that's yeah. right, right. Yeah. You're okay. wow. You're mm -hmm. you're going to be having a lot of fun just just with yourself, just to be silly and fun and mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it ev every moment, every day is like a new day. There's nothing that really it's you know it's just fresh. It's it's more fun. It's more enjoyable. Like a lot. Like absolutely. If I yeah. can just let go of that mind, totally. Don't yeah. worry about anything. <laughs> it's already taken care of, right? Yes, it, will it just is. Just be in that moment, and I can go into it. But just and I see that I experience that. It's all just there. I just have to tune in to myself, and you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Hard to put words, but yes, you're yeah. you're just finding that that God joy and spontaneous. And you're letting go of perhaps many of your pre-designed ideas of spiritual and all of that. You, yeah, you got to let it go. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice, Mikis. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just want to mm -hmm. talk some more with you, Michael. But um, but I I also want to give the space. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Then what do you like about when we're talking? Why do you want to talk more? And I want to show you something. Okay. What are you um, feeling that you want more of? Expressing my love. Okay. Yeah. You can okay. keep doing that. Yeah. Mm, I tell you. Okay, Mikis, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I. Yeah. Paula. Pa Paula. Puedes oírme. Paula. Sí, sí, sí. Pa Paula. Paula. Puedes <laughs> yes, oírme. Yes, hola. Yes, yes, yes. Pa Paula. Pa Paula. Yes. Hola. Paula. Estás. Yes. Ah. Hola. Finalmente. Okay. Ah. Uh, Estoy calma. Ah, hola. Hello, Paula. <laughs> Hello. Michael. Yes. Eh, bueno, he pasado por mucha transmutación. Yo lo he pedido. He sentido grandemente tu asistencia. Well, ok, pero necesitas hablar poco bueno. despacio. Ah, despacio. Sí, sí, sí. Bueno, eh, pero te quiero hablar de mi experiencia hoy que tuve cuando estaba haciendo mis once poderes. Yep. Hmm. Eh. ¿Aló? Ah. 
Ajá. Pasó que me levanté y me puse a pensar en ti, en mi Padre Dios. Estaba uh -huh. muy centrada pensando y dije, voy a hacer mi trabajo ahorita. Y me tomé mi pañito para ponérmelo en la cara, porque me gusta cerrarme los ojos y taparme los oídos. Y cuando tomé mi pañito, es negro, me coloqué mis tapones en los oídos y me puse mi pañito y cerré mis ojos uh -huh. y con mis ojos cerrados, Michael, wow, Michael, lo que veía era pura partículas, partículas amarillas, partículas bastante diminutas y con los ojos cerrados, luces, luces doradas, muchas partículas. Yo me dio mucho sentimiento y lloré y lo que hice fue respirar esas partículas en mi corazón sentí que, que podían ser electrones no sé Michael pero fue lo que veía mm. y después de ver me quedé centrada en el corazón pensando y me puse y voy a hacer la integración con Michael. Te llamé Michael como siempre, a la juez, a la madre, al padre, todos los hermanos, pidiendo su ayuda. Y sentí tu asistencia, Michael, que en verdad tú, yo te llamo y tú me atiendes, porque sé que cuando yo escribo algo, Dice que tú me atiendes porque yo lo siento en mi corazón. Sentí dentro de mí mucha paz y armonía. Un alivio que me entraba en todo el cuerpo. Empecé a hacer, me entregué a ti, me abrí a hacer mi integración. La hice a terminar de hacer mi integración me puse a hacer los 11 poderes completos y cuando empecé a hacer los 11 poderes me dio mucho llanto mucho llanto y lloraba y cuando lloraba en mis lágrimas y en mi mano que me tapé la cara Veía pura luz, lucecita, lucecita pequeñita, bastante, bastante, lo que me inundaba, como que mis si lágrimas fluyeran fluyendo. Me tocó, Michael, hacer la invitación a la madre. Y a invocar su santo, Espíritu Santo, con las huestes celestiales y comandando, poniéndome en receptividad para sentir el fuego sagrado, el amor. Respiro el aire sagrado del amor, su fuego. No sé, Michael, pero yo respiro ese y lo que se expande en mi conciencia y respiro y visualizo como que si fuera un fuego rosado que baja y me va invadiendo y siento como así en mi cabeza y abriera y se expandiera en mi chakra de la cabeza sintiendo ese fuego rosado que lo visualizo de ese color y cuando llamo a los santos a los arcángeles 
a los Eloines, a los Serafines, a los maestros. Uh -huh. Y les pido para que entiendan el fuego del cosmos en mí. Yo lo respiro, Maestro, lo respiro también y pido que se extienda en mi campo de conciencia, Michael, y lo visualizo como que si fuera un fuego amarillo, blanco, que se me impregna. Y siento esa energía en mi cuerpo, Michael. Esa energía que cuando siento, estoy sintiendo que este fuego me impregna, mm. me impregna y me lleno de él. He sentido hoy que he estado pasando por una semana de transmutación fuerte, pero hoy me sentí bien, Mike, me sentí bien pidiendo la presencia divina a mi Padre Dios, su presencia la siento constantemente derramándose en mí. Porque Padre amado te digo, si lloro, siento esta energía como que me acaricia y me hace sentir que son, es solo la vida de Dios. Es lo único en que yo puedo vivir. Porque ya yo sé, Michael, que de este mundo yo no tengo nada que buscar. <risa> sino buscar a mi Padre Dios, que es lo único que yo vine a hacer. Desde lo efímero de este mundo ya no hay nada que buscar. Y yo, Michael, me entrego a mi Padre Dios y a ti. Lo que te pido, Michael, sí, te pido que me agarres de tu mano. Y yo sé que tú me agarras, que tú me ayudas, Michael. Siento tu ayuda. Porque yo creo en ti, Michael. Y sé que tú no me sueltas. Aunque pase por lo que pase, sé que estoy sostenida. Sé que el camino de Dios no es fácil porque uno tiene que ser espontáneo y entregarse a Él. Buscar la verdad del Padre en nuestro corazón. Porque yo tenía una confusión en mi corazón es uh -huh. humano y mi corazón espiritual. Mi corazón espiritual, Michael, a medida que he ido aprendiendo de ti, lo he buscado en mi Paola. centro de mi corazón. Paula. Sí. sí, Michael. Just breathe. Respira. Estoy como emocionada. Yeah, just breathe. Respiras un poquito. Y permitiendo tus emociones. Permitting your emotions. But just breathe. Yeah, Michael. Okay. Dice más, sí, comparte más. Que, es muy fuerte todo lo que pasó, Mike. Pero mm. yo, yo confío en ti, en mi Padre Dios y la madre que me ayuda. No es fácil, Mike, no es fácil. Pero yo tengo confianza en ti, Mike, y en mi Padre Dios su ayuda de los años de los arcángeles de todos los seres de mí las amadas huestes celestiales a las que las respiro y les pido que me ayuden porque yo sé que yo sola no puedo hacer nada mm. Just, eh, quedas con tus sentimientos Gracias, Gracias, Well, I I receive your thanks. Yo recibo tu tu gracias y but I I pass it on to the Trinity. I I'm here to receive in this universe 
to receive the thanks and I pass it right through me on to the Trinity. Mm. Yes, Paula, you you have been mm, you have been existing in in a good amount of density from the past. And you're you're starting to break free. Tú has estado existiendo en un gran, un gran qué? Right. Un gran hay, hay, suma, hay, hay, gran suma yes, de, densidad. de densidad desde el pasado y ahora estás rompeando o derretiendo, dere, derretiéndolo tu densidad. You're, you're melting your density with God's love only. Only the majesty. He is majesty. He is king. Feel that. He. And he is love. And much more. He is king. You know, when you, when you reach for him in you, that individualized life, Feel that he is majesty, king. And only with his love. His love conquers everything. Beautiful, Paula. Just saying. Staying with your feeling. Uh -huh, you're welcome. De nada. Y estoy permitiendo tu gracias a pasar a través mi persona hacia paraíso. Gracias, Señor. Te amo, te amo. Felicidades, Michael. Aquí está Cristian que te quiere decir algo. Mm. Hola, felicidades, Michael. Felicidades, bendiciones. Mm. I love you. Gracias, Christian. Les amo también. Te amo y les amo. Mm. Estás aprendiendo un poquito, Christian, ¿eh? Te amo mucho. Wow. Wow. Mm. Y estás... Mm, Mirando tu abuela en sus transformaciones. ¿eh? Sí. Mucho amor veniendo. Uh -huh. Wow, qué sí. bueno, qué bueno. Mm. ¿Y para ti estás sintiendo el amor? Sí. Mm. Él es muy amoroso, Michael. Demasiado. Solo recibes, recibes, Christian, ahora el espíritu de la madre y la huésped, los ángeles, están viniendo a ti ahora. A ti, Christian. Mm. Bueno, Paula, Christian, gracias a ti, a ustedes. Gracias. Mm -hmm. 
Un abrazo. I love Thank you, Christian. I love you too. Bendiciones. Mm. Gracias. Adonai. Mm -hmm. Adonai. Adonai, Marco. Adonai. Mm. Sí. Para decir Adonai es para dar todo crédito, todo poder, toda inteligencia a, a nuestro Adiós. Padre. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Christian. Okay. Hi, Michael. Hello, Maori. Hello. I want to share a, um, a very endearing moment that I had yesterday with my dad. Well, there is one that's with me that wants to say hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> Paolo? Oh, no, really? Oh, how is she? Missing you. I miss her too. Happy to be talking now with you. She's well, very well, but missing you. We miss her a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. I I feel her sometimes here in the house. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Till she has to go on to the next thing, she's she's there. So you. You can stop and however you were with her on the ground at times or sitting together or you can just do that and just she's there when you when you're aware of it, she's there. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, because she's missing you. She knows how much I love her. Right. Well, she's not stupid. She knows where to go for love. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll wait for her to come back. For more. Right. Oh, she will in her time. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you, Michael. <laughs> mm -hmm. That makes me really happy. <laughs> she said she would especially like if... If you and Maya sit together on the ground and just have her be there. Okay. Just like that. It can be outdoors. It can be indoors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's still I'm there. I'm smiling. Yeah, I'm very she's, still, happy. she's still with you. She has more time to, to hang with you because of that connection. It's a transition time. I'm happy to have her here. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us some more. What's going on? I actually wanted to share a 
a very nice moment with my father yesterday. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> but now Balu ticked me off. It's <laughs> 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 <sighs> the puppy. Puppy. Balu. Yeah. Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's a, a lot of things going on at home in Holland mm. and um, mm -hmm. yesterday I had the opportunity to it, well it just unfolded it wasn't planned <laughs> but my dad called me that my grandma has, um, has uh, a tumor in her stomach and there's nothing they can do. So my my dad was he sort of called me in a panic um because of the whole the world situation the the corona and the vaccine and my grandma that's his mom his 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 dad passed away when he was 17 so he's only had his mom all this time. Mm -hmm. Um but he, it was such a, um, like a fast train of him, his emotions and his ideas and his, you know, it was a lot, but I, I was just happy to, to receive him. Wow. And little by little, he just softened even the wordings that he was using against the, you know, well, what is happening today? Right. Um, <laughs> he was like, oh, and, and as soon as the vaccine comes out, I'm going to be the first one in line and you mark my word. And it was very intense. <laughs> and I just felt him soften because I just responded, mm -hmm, okay. And just receiving him and understanding him and, and just, you know, sort of agreeing with him in a way that he felt that I was listening to him. Yeah. And it was just so beautiful. And it's, it's hardly happened in my life that my dad opens up to me with his heart, not uh -huh. in a mental way, but with his heart. I could feel his heart. Uh -huh. And that is, you know, he's never, never really opened up to anyone mm. and I think that's a big part of my adventure now no a lot of things that come from my dad and it, it was just so so nice to have that connection with him just mm. very sweet I've never seen my dad as a sweet person. Right. It's, it was just very endearing. How old is he now? He's 67. Uh-huh. Yeah. A man with a lot of worries, but... Well, I just grasped to that moment of connection with him. And then that's something that will stay now with me because that was... I, that, I've been waiting for that since I was born, probably. <laughs> Just to have a connection with him. Right. Mm. You've been patient. Yes, or he with me as well, probably. <laughs> but, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Just... Yeah, just... Just to take each other in. It... It's gold. It, it's a very powerful thing to to just receive and and to listen and even to feed back just exactly what you heard them say. Not in your own words, you know, but just what the person is saying. Mm -hmm. It, I mean, it is so needed right now. I, I felt that he wanted to reach through the phone and just hug. That's what I felt from him, his desire to, for us to have a moment to hug. Yeah. 
a lot of two, three different things going on for him. A lot of things, yeah. He's he's very scared, Michael. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. And uh, and and yes, people, you know, people find themselves in their own causes and effects. True, and yet. To love them is the way to to hear, to listen, to receive. It heals. Yeah. And we build trust, right? They he knows that you that he has a place to come back to. With you. <laughs> Yes, definitely now, because I never thought of it that way <laughs> with him. Right. But he has, I mean, yeah. I've been running away from home since I was 14. <laughs> <laughs> and now for me to finally mm. actually feel it, that I love my dad. Mm. I love him, and I wow. know he loves me too. Hmm. Wow, Maori, that's powerful. Just to have that experience. Hmm. Yes, the next step is to actually say it. <laughs> okay. For yeah. me too, for right. me as well, because right. I've always been fearful to tell him I love you. I've yeah. never told him I love you. I send him hearts, <laughs> you know, but right. it's sort of superficial because hmm. I want to voice it as well. Yeah, right. Hmm. And I think that he he really wants to do the same. Yeah. I really think so. Hmm. <laughs> And um, Michael, one more thing. <laughs> yeah, no, we have time. I'm just letting, I want you to just collect your thoughts. You know, I'm here. Well, I am very excited about something, but you need to tell me the oh, appropriate yes, yes. moment. Yes, yes, yes. You just, yeah, you just had to remind me. Um, do you think even now would be okay? Or is it, what do you feel? For me, it's fine. But if there are people that would like to share regarding this matter, what we will, what I'm going to do is probably going to break the chain a little bit. So, okay, that's fine. We, we, we can come back to it. Yeah. yeah. Just remember. Back. Yeah. So, no, I mean, so we can come back to what I'm doing and we can have you uh, come forward now. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure. And I don't hear anybody objecting because they don't know what we're about to do. Or I don't even know. I don't know what Maori is up to, but I trust her. I love her. I love you, Maori. I love you too. <laughs> so everybody can speak now or forever hold their silence. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, Go for it. Clara, are you ready? Sí, aquí estoy. <laughs> so, um, Clara wrote a note from all of us, and we're just going to read it to you. And then after that, I would like to be able to share the screen. Oh, sure. Let me <laughs> let me stop presenting, and then you can you'll be free to do it when you you okay. want let me just work that out okay okay i'm just here you 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 lead the way beloved master and karen 
Amado Maestro y Karen. From all your children here. De todos tus niños aquí. We want to thank you for all that you have given us during all these years. Queremos agradecerte por todo lo que nos has dado durante todos estos años. Being with you and walking with you and your holy comforter spirit of truth is immensely gratifying and very special for all of us. Estar y caminar contigo con tu espíritu consolador de la verdad es inmensamente gratificante y muy especial para todos nosotros. All the help that you give us daily and your valuable teachings your fun, your jokes, your good sense of humor. <laughs> Toda la ayuda que diariamente nos brindas y tus valiosas enseñanzas con diversión, bromas y tu buen sentido del humor. Growing together with you, having your unconditional love is very important for everyone. For that reason, we decided to offer you a small gesture from our hearts for both you and Karen. Crecer contigo, tener tu amor incondicional es muy importante para todos. Por eso decidimos hacer un pequeño gesto o regalo exclusivo para ti de nuestro corazón para ti y Karen. To show and express all our affection for this special year. Para mostrarte y expresarte todo nuestro cariño por este año tan especial. And to thank the Universal Father for sending us once again your presence physically here in Earth with all of us. Y agradecer al Padre Dios Universal por enviarnos una vez más tu presencia físicamente aquí en la Tierra con todos nosotros. And we appreciate absolutely everything. And we hope you enjoy it. And we completely love you. <laughs> <laughs> Agradecemos absolutamente todo y esperamos que lo disfrutes. Te amamos. No sound. No sound? Mm -mm. Uh oh. No. Yep. Maudi Voido? Hold on. Let me see. Uh, yes, Leslie. <laughs> oh no. Voy a salir. Yeah, maybe Leslie can do it from the US, right? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, okay, so let me see. Um, I hope I'm doing the right thing. Am I sharing my screen? I never. Not yet. It's on the bottom right. Okay, one second, Michael. On bottom right, you present your entire. Is this? Mm, well, I can't see, but maybe. Now? Yeah. There you go. Uh -huh. Okay. It's starting. All right, okay, so let me play this. How do I do this? Where is it? One sec. Oh, okay, let's see. Keep. 
a little bit of sound. No sound. No sound? Mm -mm. I have an idea, Michael. I'm going to send you the link. And okay, then you and can I'll play it. it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right. That might work. Right. Okay. okay sorry. I'm going to get out. Of then that. you stop. Yeah, you can just click stop. <laughs> stop presenting. Okay. Right. And then, where are you going to send me the link? Where? I sent it here in the chat. Oh, okay, oh. yeah, that's right. That's a good place to do it. Hmm. Okay, just wait. Okay, just wait. Hmm. Can you send it again? Can you hear me? Yes. Shall I send it to workplace? Uh, try sending it here again. Here one more time. Because I don't... There we go. Mika has it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Okay. I think I got it. <laughs> oh, hello.
Este pelo, es inútil, no hay nada que hacer. En mi próxima vida, si yo pudiese elegir, elegiría una melena toda para la enorme, con una cantidad de pelo impresionante. Ah, por favor. Ay, ya estoy cerca de los 30 segundos. Feliz Navidad, Karen. Feliz Navidad, Karen.
a lot, a lot of, of thank yous for this for year. year. Your patience and your kindness, all of us. So, so thank, thank you for this year. year. Many, Many more to come. come. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you and care. Thank you, everyone. Very, very sweet. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Thank you, Maori, for putting that together. And Maya. Hmm? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, Michael. It oh. was a lot of fun. <laughs> I can <laughs> Yeah, beautiful, everyone. Thank you. And certainly a Merry Christmas to each one of you. Each one of you that the next year can be filled with the Merry Christmas every second, right? Hmm. Good. Maudie, more? Did you want to say more? Or shall we go back? Or... No, I'm okay. I'm I'm happy. Baloo is with us right now, and I'm just gonna take yes. her in now yeah. that she's here. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Thank Mike. You. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Good, everyone. Who else? Who would like to come forward? A mí me gustaría. Aha. Hola, Alicia. Hello. Hola. <laughs> sí. Eh, felicidades a las chicas con el video ya chicos y chicas <risa> esto 
Yo por lo que he estado pasando, es como... Es fuerte. Una parte de mí me, me atrae hacia todo lo que está sucediendo, especialmente porque en mis familias y amigos han habido personas que conocí a través de mi vida, algunos no muy cercanos, otros muy cercanos, pues que este año han desencarnado. Y aunque la voz interior dentro de mí sabe que que en sí la muerte no existe. No he podido evitar sentir tristeza. No. Lo he intentado, y, pero, pero he sentido. La tristeza de este año veinte tan fuerte. Y yo he hecho todo mi intento por sostenerme en tus enseñanzas y al mismo tiempo de, de hacer todo este intento, toda esa atención en la vida de Dios, al mismo tiempo la otra parte jala. Porque tan fuerte como ha sido mi deseo de Dios y mi anhelo de estar en su a su manera, pues. Así mismo ha sido todo lo que se ha removido alrededor. Y, y esas son las cosas que, que yo en resumen he sacado de, de estos últimos meses, que han sido muy intensos, al grado que eh, en la familia todos los días anunciaban el deceso de alguien. Y aunque uno sabe que todo eso, es ilus todo eso es una creación falsa, que el padre es, la, es vida y que, y, y que esas son experiencias que las personas están viviendo. No para de ser como ser humano triste, ¿no? Y... Esas cosas me hicieron volver a una tendencia de la niñez, de la que yo te platiqué ya, que era crear momentos en mi... O sea, evadir el dolor que todo eso produce a través de usar mal mi imaginación creativa y mi visualización de fe, creando fantasías. Y aparte de eso, ese temor interior de las relaciones con nosotros. Porque las relaciones con los otros es un indicativo de que uno no puede evadir el dolor que los otros nos traigan de vuelta, ¿no? Y hoy que esto de las relaciones, y les recuerdo cuando hablaron del video, para muchos se les hizo tan fácil, y para mí se me hizo tan difícil, a pesar que, que sé que este momento que atraviesa la tierra, mi país, la familia, yo misma, son producto de nuestra creación y que eventualmente todo eso será disuelto en la vida de Dios. No paro de que es como estar en, en esta polaridad, ¿no? De un lado tengo la vida de Dios y del otro tengo 
el, el mundo el mundo que me rodea y que no se escapa al grado que hasta la familia acá terminó teniendo personas enfermas y personas jóvenes entonces he estado todo este año transfigurando los miedos los miedos a la separación los miedos a a que tantas personas que a mí se vayan y pues ni siquiera pues, puede estar ahí no y, y, y intento siempre sostenerme en esa vida del padre pero a veces no puedo <risa> y, y sé que hasta, hasta llegué a sentir vergüenza de que yo estoy intentando como quien dice <risa> poniendo mi corazón en iniciar una vida nueva el deseo de estar con esta persona y y da como vergüenza de que mientras uno se despide, yo en mi corazón todavía tengo el anhelo de la vida. Tengo este anhelo de, de vivir y si tengo que comenzar una vida nueva, comenzarla a pesar del miedo que tengo a las relaciones. Porque eso me da mucho, mucho temor, pues mucho tiempo sola. No sé cómo se vive con otra persona. Todo eso se mueve dentro de mí. Todo ese sentimiento, toda esa emoción, a la vez de que al mismo tiempo intento recibir todo lo que el Padre me da. Porque de la misma manera estoy recibiendo de Dios. Y no es fácil comprender cómo se, se mueven los dos. Dos campos, uno que trata de convencerme de evadir al padre <risa> o de evadir el para pa, pa abrazar al padre, tengo que abrazar el dolor. Pero hasta tanto que ayer, toda la noche fue muy difícil porque mi cuerpo se enfermó muy fuerte y toda la noche fue entre dolor y dormir, dolor y dormir en el cuerpo. <risa> Pero sé que, que fue como una contracción que hubiese tenido mi cuerpo de estar entre, entre estos dos movimientos, pues, lo, la, lo, la vida que está ahí, lo efímero, lo, lo falso y la vida real de Dios. Yo resentí en mi cuerpo físico toda la noche. Y yo, cuando vi el video, yo digo, mira, Alicia, si tú no te complicases tanto en tu mente, mira lo fácil que fue para ellos, lo lindo. Pero yo no tengo esa... O sea, no, no, no lo he vivido. Y estoy intentando comenzar una vida con una persona creativa. Y eso es, wow, es totalmente lo, loco porque una persona que no ha tenido necesidad de, de crear cosas bonitas en una relación con una que sí la ha tenido y no sé cómo será. Eso me da un poquito de temor, pero sé que no debo tenerle miedo a, a la vida de Dios ni a lo que Dios me, me está trayendo. Pero hoy que vi el video y vi lo fácil que es para otros convivir con otros, <ríe> relacionarse con otros, pero para mí es un reto. Un reto total. Eso es lo que quería compartir.
Beautiful, Alicia. Well, it's been your challenge to come into the human experience more. Hmm? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Me imagino que el 21 será llorar. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Alicia. Just stay with your feelings. The feelings, the feelings will help you just grow beyond all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great. You. You know, you, you, ha you started with me with, you had a lot of ideas, your own ideas, and you've been dissolving. You've been dissolving them. Mm. Good, Alicia. Thank you. Y te amo. Y estoy contento para tener una relación contigo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. The relationship yeah. of trust and just yeah. Yeah, that it's a safe place here. It's safe and I want the best for you. Mm. Oh. Good, Alicia. Thanks. Others? Israel, you. Yes. Ivan? Ivan. Okay. Yes. Well, uh. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias, Mikael. Um, quiero compartir um, de mí Y también puedo decir que en las últimas tres semanas, eh, Maite y yo hemos estado con COVID en casa, encerrados. Eh, ha sido una experiencia muy, muy directa. En, al, al principio no, no podía, no, no estaba seguro de lo que era. En, pero pasados unos cuatro días, um, realmente la fuerza en el cuerpo físico um, estaba muy débil y muy doloroso. Um, puedo sentir que no tenía miedo, pero me sentía muy cansado, muy cansado. Um, pedí ayuda al padre, a las huestes. Y llamé a Micael, te llamé a ti, Micael. Realmente sí. sentí la fuerza y el amor. Y, y pude, pude aprender en... ¿eh? En, esto, en esos momentos, ¿cómo, 
mi esposa a mi lado, con su personalidad, con su individualidad presente, expresaba todo su amor y su preocupación. en una relación íntima de vida. La divinidad del Padre en mí, la divinidad del Padre en ella, fuertemente presentes, me rendí, sentí el dolor más profundo, me seguí rindiendo, soltando toda mi rebeldía. Sentí que solté todo. Sentí que no había más nada, solamente Dios. Y el Padre, a través de la vida, individualizada en otros humanos, en otros seres, manda su ayuda también. Y comprendí, todo es Dios. Yo me sentí vulnerable, totalmente vulnerable. Comencé a ver a los dos días cómo los sonidos del amanecer eran diferentes, cómo la luz del sol entre los árboles más resplandeciente cómo la vida de Dios se estaba presentando nueva, renovada, transparente, presente, un amor infinito, un agradecimiento al Padre, un agradecimiento infinito por su presencia y por su amor, expresándose en todo, en todo. Y Maite y yo, abrazados, tomando fuerza y dando gracias, mirando nuestras experiencias, lo que hemos vivido, y lo que estábamos viviendo y estamos viviendo todavía en este momento, pero hoy con un sentimiento de agradecimiento profundo, de una alegría infinita a la vida de Dios, al valor incalculable, al valor infinito de la vida, aquí con esta oportunidad de vida, de vivir, de relacionarnos, de compartir, de amar, de ser más transparente, de ser verdad, de querer abrazar a cada vida, a todos nuestros hermanos, a nuestra familia, a nuestro padre, a Micael, a Karen, a cada compañero en Salvington, wow, un renacimiento que siento de una nueva vida y de una nueva oportunidad. Gracias, Padre. Gracias, Micael. Gracias por tu amor infinito. Gracias. Sí, Iván, estoy aquí para ti siempre. Te amo. Bueno. Ah.
Gracias, gracias, gracias. Wow. No hay palabras. Sí. No, no hay. Mm. No hay. No te, hay. Te retiendo. De la, Derritiendo. Te retiendo. Derritiendo. Ya. Sí. Yeah. sí. If, if there is a theme for today, it is watching everyone melt down into God's love. Si hay un tema hoy, es mirando todo, derretiendo hacia el amor, el amor de Dios. The, allowing the the father's life to to dominate everything we want that queremos eso por la vida de dios para dominar todo todo no quiero nada de mi humano you know quiero todo todo de del padre <laughs> el padre yeah Qué hermoso. Gracias. Ya. Yeah. A ti, Iván. Y... Mm. Mm. Ya. Yeah. Todo mi corazón es tuyo. Mm. Mm. Ah. Ya. Yeah. No tiene un, una otra manera. No, no más. No, no más. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No hay palabras, Micael, es, es un sentimiento que, que, que es difícil de explicar. Yeah, right, right. No hay palabras, no, es... It's the love of God that comes when, when we allow, when we allow... Un abrazo grande. Yeah. Es el amor de Dios que, que viene cuando permitimos. <laughs> yeah. Sí. Sí. And, and our work, my work with, with each of you is to prepare you simply to receive. Para para prepararles para recibir, para mm. recibir, just to receive, because everything is already present and waiting for you, everything already here, just waiting for the individual to gain that soul reception. Solo esperando por la individual para, para como se dice, ganar o uh -huh, lograr. La receptividad del alma. Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. La capacidad, mm -hmm. más capacidad, more capacity to receive. Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, the, again, the... The intellect is important, but it cannot dominate. God's love and life must dominate. El amor y la vida de Dios debe dominar. El intelecto es importante, pero sí, la corazón yes. debe expandir. The, the heart must expand to to take everything into itself. Mm. Beautiful, Ivan. You are, yeah, you, you're starting to build a momentum. 
estás comenzando a construir un, un impulso en esa dirección, you know? Yeah. yeah. Even aún con este COVID, it's, mm -hmm. uh, estás usándolo en una para manera in, correcta. Para impulsar. Yeah, right. To, to burn away all opposition to God. para quemar toda la oposición a Dios yeah wow everyone you are you are each moving ahead I, I just bear witness because God Almighty does all things And you are each uh, preparing yourself for that immortality where the Father can do what he does right through you, right through you and with you, definitely with you and through you, by you and for you, and then it becomes as you. You become absolutely one but you still know it's coming from the infinite even when you are one with everything you know that there is a source flowing and that source produces the life right produces the flow and the life even though you are giving yourself to that that expression of the father you blend your personality and it it might appear that you are doing it but don't let yourself get fooled I'm doing nothing here. I'm telling you. Even my vaster self. But uh, we are, all of me, giving myself into this, this will of eternity. And it needs personality, right? You, you all understand by now that... In my case, it is essential that we have a personal relationship. And that personal relationship does not need a body. But a voice does help everything that we've been doing, you know. It reaches right to the person. So that's what you're becoming. That ascendant personality. That turns around, gives your life and existence back, back to the one who gave you that life. And you, you choose to give back to him your life, your personal life. To the one that gave you the life. But you give it back. And then you become something greater. It is the way. The way. Mm. But, oh... I know most all of you have struggled and 
partly struggle still a little bit, right? With this giving back, surrendering and cooperating, collaborating. Right? Good. Who else would like to share? Me, Michael. Ah, yes, Elise. Oh, Elise, guess what? We don't have any more time. <laughs> All right. Hello, Elise. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, uh, I, my feeling now in this time is to be mm. to to be drawn from my really from my solar plexus and not from my mind to mm. to this strong current inside of me of the life of God. Yes, I feel yes, this the inverse in. And make me very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. and, and to allow, you're allowing the vulnerability, right? Yes, Michael, I, I, I have not so choice because I, I am very here and also I'm checking my body. Mm -hmm. And it's it's like I recognize more and more that it is a sort of drawing inside. That my body is doing a sort of inversion. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Yes, I, I feel that... I, <laughs> it's not dependent of really of me. <clears throat> Is, I feel that, it's, that, that it is so strong that it's, it's okay, I allow, I want more than allow, I, I ask, <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am hungry so much, um, I want that alone, mm -hmm. I only want uh, to be in this current of life. And now I feel the Father is drawing me with him. Yes. It takes yes. it takes on a momentum of its own and then you just go with it. Yes. Exactly. You've already chosen. But it's yes. and it's just going to take you. It's, it is chosen all along all these years. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, with you, Michael. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But by the love, and even if our relationship were, were difficult, <laughs> she is not difficult inside. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's my, just... Yes. <laughs> but more. I feel this drawing inside more. I feel close with you also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I am ready to take every risk <laughs> with you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to, to be in our personal relationship, our universal and personal, and and dare to be vulnerable truthful transparent yeah and see what happens only only good will happen i i assure you that only good i can do that with you i can do i cannot do with people person because they Maybe are not no. there right the right but the the that's the the purpose of our relationship is that i am bound to not misuse the vulnerability mm -hmm. the normal <laughs> human maybe they exploit it and they misuse it but yeah. but i cannot i immediately would cry in sadness if i even moved an inch in the wrong direction. I feel it immediately. Yes. Uh, I don't feel it in 10 lifetimes from now. I feel it right now. Mm. 
So that's the thing. Our that's what that apostleship is. It's just intimacy. Yes, In intimacy and... that that is not misunderstood, that is taken with respect, and that we give all glory to the Father, Mother. Yes, melting together yeah. into his together. love. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm learning from you so much, always, always, even when I, I, I felt my opposition and my resistance, yep. all this potential is listen, uh, learn, learning for me and yep. to mm. be with you, to be, to be in approach, to, to be more close and to be more open and receptive and trusting. Yeah. And, and it is more beautiful for me, you know, to, to be, to discover that relationship with you because I, I have been so much relationship with people that are failing mm -hmm. in all these lifetimes. And yeah, I, I don't know how to express that, but more. Uh, I am drawing inside more. I feel that all disappear all around me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all is dissolving that that normal life, that normal relationships, yeah, that that attraction between the people. All that is dissolving. Yes, that's right. And you're. You're being enveloped in God's sovereignty. He takes you. Yes. And and loves you and nurtures you. And uh, and I am there with that. And I also I'm helping the process. Yes. Wow, well, Elise. Kitty is coming. <laughs> you find the tablet. <laughs> hmm. She feel, she feel. Wow! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she she have many cry with me because we are alone and she can she cannot go in outside also as me. <laughs> right. Not so much me more than her, but she is very very close there in this little home. She cannot go move outside because there is, a, you know, the automatic um, closing out door, in the door, outside. Ah. You see, it's a sort of apartment where there is many, many, many upstairs. Uh, upstairs mm -hmm. and in the down there is a, a door she is always closed and automatically uh, automatically closed mm. so my kitty cannot move and there is a, the road and there is many many uh, cars and and dogs and she cannot go away you know, and she cry many. Mm. It's me. <laughs> but you keep a window open, right? The window. Yeah. Ah, yes, yes. But she cannot. She cannot move also. But through the right. window. No, no. It's too high. Yeah. I am in the sky, Michael, and there is no <laughs> thing around me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, as my dream, I, when I, I dream that I was in the edge of the world and mm. a beautiful person come to me and open the immaculate life before me, something I cannot explain this feeling I have at this <laughs> moment. And I go, I take my 
my my way I feel my way into this sort of substance immaculate immaculate substance I say yes I feel that in my dream and I am probably I am living that but there is no image it's just mm. a feeling mm. Oh, I'm so happy and at the same time so sad. <laughs> yeah. To be with you is inexplicable, inexplicable. <laughs> I mm. cannot explain that. Mm -hmm. But everyone there can know, can understand what I am saying. <laughs> because we are all together in the same. Yeah. Yes, you, you are each being drawn upward, inward, upward. Each being magnetized upward, Carlos. Yes, hacia arriba. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That is the the power of the the second center and source, and the the Michael energy. And the best you can do, you just cooperate. Go with it. It will take you and take care of you. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, you've been here a little while, Elise. I mean, yes. in the earth. I feel that now. Yeah, you're going to finish up this time. Yes. <laughs> like Karen, she's working on finishing up. Yes. And many, many of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And, and so all, all of you that have come to serve, I, I, I take care of my own. I'm responsible for you. Oh my God, I was so crazy. You have so patience with me. I was so. I come from a. Um, this crazy past. <laughs> yes. Well, but you are you. You're turning all of that into wisdom. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes. And it's all that I want. Yes. yes. The wisdom, the love, the experience that you're going to take back to your order. Your order and the civilization. Mm, yes. Your home. <laughs> You'll take it all back. Yes, I understand now. They said to me that I am coming to that, to do that. Yeah. Yes, you'll, you'll go back and you'll say, Wow, <laughs> how long have I been gone? <laughs> and they will say, I don't know. I think it was just one weekend. One weekend. <laughs> And no, that's, that's not possible. I've been gone <laughs> lifetimes in that earth. Oh my god, yes, but they are there with me, yes, uh, above me, and yes, watching and walking with you, watching, yes, and send me some vision to help me, yeah, always, you know, some vision that, that you are doing. And, 
what the father wants. And mm. So well, I understand. Yes. Well, you, you've been here mostly for for your your order, your team, the group that's come with you to to gain the experience to understand what's going on here, to understand it firsthand. Yes. More than anything, that's what you came for. <laughs> I, I I remember always to say in, when I was young, what is this world? <laughs> right. I'm sure. I, what what is this, this world? But <laughs> What, what I'm doing there? <laughs> right, right. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> always when yes, I was very young, but I always have this feeling that what is this world? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a very good time to be here. Because, you know, it's at a point where some things are needing to change. And and you're lending your energy to that, your light, by being here and many things. But the, the collective race won't change for a thousand years. There won't be any great vast change. It will take another thousand to two thousand years. Yes, but we are the seeds. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Everyone here and yes. uh -huh, and, and, and you many others. are there. Yeah. yeah. Giving the seeds. Yeah. Mm. Good, Elise. Thank you. I hope yes, for other I, I could speak yeah. longer to you, but I would just give time to others. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. I don't it's want okay. to take the time. Yes. It's okay. Good. Good, Elise. Thank, Thank you. you, honey. Love you. Love <laughs> I you love you too. I what? want to I say that. <laughs> I didn't hear that. What did you say? Oh, I love you, Michael. Wait, no, I, I didn't hear that. The the no. technology. Oh. What did you say? You, you can hear in your heart. <laughs> no, I, I need to hear what you said again. I love you, Michael, from all oh. my heart. Oh, now I hear it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. Mm. And I can express more and more. Right. Right. But That's not in, in this crazy, crazy <clears throat> emotional, you know? <laughs> now it's more clear. <laughs> right. Right. But that's okay. You, There's a part of you like a 16-year-old. That's okay. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, that's okay. Just let it happen. I understand it, and yeah. you know, and just let the emotion be there. Let it all be there. the The feeling of needing and wanting, yes. all of that. It's part of. It will be transformed into your need and want for Almighty God. Mm -hmm. Because Good it lady. was just the uh, absolute love I wanted. Yes, that's right. That's right. And I, I'm just standing in the middle, but all of that passes through me to to your godhood. Mm. Mm, yeah. My God. Mm. Wow. Wow. What a feeling. Mm. No. <laughs> yeah. I feel you, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just stay and receive. I'm right there with you. Yes. And each one of you, let this opportunity be yours to just receive more of, of me, of, of that spirit, that personal presence, Father, Son, Opening you to God the Supreme, which you shall one day experience more.
just receiving of the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit, and the beloved heavenly host, the host, ascended masters, angels, archangels, Elohim, the galactic federation, a vast amount of beings, millions upon millions, coming from other places to serve what's going on here. A planet that is gradually going from darkness eventually to light. Hmm. Good, Elise. Just stay with your receiving and everyone. Just staying with the reception. Yes, my, my good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Each time we, we come together like this is an opportunity to advance your, your vibratory sphere. Two or more gathered and our association together, it produces great fruit. The fruit which was hard becomes softer and sweeter, ready to be eaten. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it is true. The Father, the Son, the Spirit, the Mother, right? You're each about to be eaten like a delicious fruit. Mm. But not if you're hard. <laughs> So breathe in your God life as we come to a close today. Breathe in that life. All your appreciation and love to your Godhood, your destiny, everyone. The Father is your destiny, right within you. Your destination. God, we breathe you in 
expanding your life, establishing your kingdom in every heart that will receive. Let this Christmas time be an absolute blessing for all who have made themselves receptive. Every kingdom, every creature, every electron and elemental. Every blade of grass we praise you almighty God thou nameless infinity all worship all glory the mother, the host, and I, with that father, we give you back the gift of Christmas. Accelerating your vibration, accelerate, quickening you unto that greater life. mighty electrons quicken everyone's field upon the earth the field of the planet quicken O oh God Quicken all unto thy glory. Merry Christmas, everyone. I love each of you. As the very life that I am. Adonai. Thank you, Michael. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias, Maestro. Gracias, gracias, hermoso. Te amo. Thank you, Michael. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Gracias, Micael. Yep. I love you, Thank you all. Michael. <laughs> yep. Merry Christmas. Gracias, Christian. Gracias, mi amor. Thank you, Michael. I love you, Michael. Cariños a Karen. Michael, por favor. <laughs> sí, sí. <laughs> Gracias, Mario. Sí, Mario.
Hola.